With the Treasury refunding statement, the massive amounts of debt that the U.S. government will be uh, issuing in years to come, $78 billion, for instance, uh, this quarter in long-term debt, launching a new two-month bill. How does that change your approach to investments, investing in fixed income in particular? Well, it's interesting, Scarlett, because while we're, we are increasing the amount of long-term debt that's being issued, uh, we are really massively increasing uh, the debt that's being issued in the belly of the curve. Uh, you know, the three years, the five years, seven years. So uh, we continue to believe uh, very strongly in, in the fact that the yield curve is flattening. Um, nevertheless, it does bother me that uh, every opportunity that the um, Treasury is getting, it is increasing the size of the longer auctions. Uh, and I think that uh, we are getting to the point where we're getting a crowding out effect, uh, where you know Treasury borrowings are becoming so large uh, that uh, it's making it more and more difficult for other borrowers to get access to capital. Uh, <clears throat> you know, here in simple numbers, I'll put it this way: if next year's deficit's around a trillion dollars, which is a close estimate, and the Federal Reserve is still shrinking its balance sheet, which would be about 500 billion. Uh, we would have about one and a half trillion dollars worth of U.S. Treasury debt issued. At the same time, uh, the U.S. savings rate is only six hundred billion dollars. So I keep asking the question: Who's going to buy this other nine hundred billion dollars worth of Treasuries? And on top of that, where are we going to get the money to finance uh, private sector borrowing?